Here from the back. Brad, to your left, can you take us through, first of all, the defensive play unfolded, and then the, the last shot, you know, how that was designed, and I'm assuming that was the, the first option to go here. Yes, sir. Um, you know, defensively, we knew we had the possession and the jump ball arrow, so we weren't going to try to follow right away. Um, we were going to try to get a steal. Um, so whether that was after they got the inbounds pass in, or if we could get a tip pass. Um, so I was trying to give Cowan a little bit. I, they did a little crisscross and kind of ended up on Cowan. Um, I knew that's who they wanted to get the ball to, so I tried to give him a little cushion to try to bait him into throwing it. Um, and you know, it worked out where I was able to get a hand on it. Um, and then I, I hit it a little too hard, so it was going to go out of bounds. I wasn't able to grab it, so kind of my only only opportunity there was um, to try to find the Maryland guy to throw it off of. And luckily, Marcel was still standing there from throwing the ball in. And then the three? Uh, yes, sir, the three. And our coach had a great play call, um, something that we've ran throughout the year and had a lot of success with. Um, I don't know if it was Nate or Brevin, but someone must have got Marcel pretty good on the screen because uh, he got me. I think it was Nate, yeah. Nate said it was Nate, so. Um, <laughs> Got a, got a lot of daylight, got a really good look. Um, and you know, those are shots that we drill, whether it's in practice or if I'm in here late nights, early mornings, those are kind of uh, shots that you know you dream about and you think about. Um, so to have the opportunity, I'm uh, very thankful for that opportunity and see the ball drop. Um, but most importantly, that's, that's a big win for this team. You know, whenever you, can, whenever you can stack two wins in a row in this league, especially this year, um, it goes a long ways and it'll make Friday a uh, really fun game. Jim, in the back right. Right, those two plays followed the, the previous possession didn't obviously go as well. Can you kind of take us through what what happened? Because by the end of it, you guys were getting booed. <laughs> yeah, well, the initial play, initial look was to try to see, try to get Kobe into the post. Um, I think Nate had the ball trying to enter it, and they did a great, great. Maryland played really good defense that possession, they taking away our first. Do, uh, yeah, after they didn't have that, they were trying to do like a wing ball screen, try to get a pick and pop, and then they switched it. Mm -hmm. And then I picked up the ball to try to find Nate in the post because he had Cowan on him, and Cowan did a great job of fronting him. Um, and then I had didn't have, I had picked up my dribble, so then I was stuck with five seconds to go. So passed it to Tyler, got it back quick, and at that point I think I had two, three seconds. Um, wasn't a whole lot to go on. So definitely we could have been sharper in that possession, uh, but also got to realize there's some pretty good defense out there sometimes too. Um, so definitely something that we'll watch and film tomorrow, and Coach probably won't be too happy. Um, but good thing there was still some time left in the game. <coughs> Nate, hey, Jim, Jim over on your left here. Jim alluded to it. I mean, the boos were pretty loud. A, did you hear it? And how did you guys reset not only after that I, possession? To be honest, more? I don't really think I focused on it at all. I just kind of drowned it out. It's just ready to go play some defense. Tammy? Nate, thinking back to the Illinois game last week, you guys failed to execute down the stretch yeah. and just didn't have that energy. But Brad seemed to add just a huge spark down the stretch. Did you notice that difference? And can you just talk about um, Brad's energy? I mean, he just kind of lit up the court, it seemed. Yeah, Brad, Brad is always that way. He's always diving on the floor, making a play. You know, he's a playmaker making plays. <laughs> Jim. I don't know who wants to take this, both of you, if possible, I guess. They were really getting you guys on the pick and roll probably the first, I don't know, 12, 13 minutes of the half. You guys did a better job down the stretch. What, if anything, did you guys do differently to defend that a little bit better? Uh, well, they got that they got that lob for dunk pretty late. Um, I think maybe just needed a little more backside defense. But then the next one I was able to get my hand on it because I knew he was looking to throw it. And then we ended up getting a steal on that. Yeah, you know, it's a very similar play to what Illinois was trying to run to us the last few possessions there, and they had a lot of success with it. Um, so it's definitely something that we have to look at, um, but when it comes down to it, you know, they have a lot of shooters uh, spreading the wings, and Cowan's really good with the ball, trying to create and find open guys. Um, but I think the biggest thing for us is we just communicated about it. Whether it was in the huddle, during the play, um, you know, I think one thing we learned from the Illinois game, if there's something that um, is hurting you on that side of the ball, you got to communicate about it. you got to be connected about it. Um, I think that was kind of the biggest difference um, down the stretch today. Zach? Uh, Mark Turgeon called this a devastating loss. How would you describe it, Brad? A great win. Um, you know, I think Coach always says um, you'll take a win any way you can. You know, especially in this league, sometimes it's got to be gritty, not pretty. Yeah, that's kind of his favorite quote this year, gritty, not pretty. 
Um, you know, that one was really gritty and not very pretty at times. Um, but at the end of the day, I'll take a take a gritty win over a, a over any type of loss, any, type, any kind of any of the week. So um, you know, there's also a lot of things we can learn from this game too. You know, I think you can become content and satisfied by winning. Um, that's something that you know I'll hold my teammates accountable for. And the coaches will hold our teammates and our whole team accountable for. Um, there's still a lot we can learn and get better and improve at. Uh, we got to be ready to go for Friday. Anything else for the players? All right. Thanks, guys.